dear colleagues, let me present some results of our research on uh, microflora of wine. I am happy to continue s or slightly, to some extent, to continue the topic which was uh, started by my colleague from Korea, uh, because this is again a uh, combination of uh, uh, microbiological and uh, molecular techniques uh, uh, in order to improve the quality the quality of food products, in this case, of wine. Uh, Slovakia is not a typical wine-producing country, and this is also why our ministry tries to help the uh, wine producers to uh, find a place uh, in the European market and uh, to improve the quality of the, some specific varieties. So, Slovakia is uh, a country in Central Europe, and uh, uh, wine is produced only in the south of the country, and uh, specifically the small Carpathian wine producing region is located in the uh, southwest of the country, and we uh, use the samples from uh, small producers from the small city of Modra. Uh, the, uh, region uh, is uh, on the south slopes uh, of uh, the small Carpathian mountains uh, in uh, altitudes of uh, 150 meters up to the mountains of 700 meters. But of course, the vineyards are on the lower locations. And uh, we studied uh, two typical grape varieties, which are not uh, 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 widely grown, but these are uh, these have distinct uh, organ or organoleptic uh, qualities, so they have some potential to be uh, successful in the European market. So these are Blaufrankisch and Grünewald Linda, and we studied uh, the dynamics uh, of the uh, microflora. Uh, it means we started from grapes using the wash. And the, the three phases of uh, wine production from must to wine. Uh, of course, it is well known that not only the quality of, uh, of the grapes uh, uh, determines the quality of wine, but of, uh, an important role is played by microorganisms, mostly by yeast, but also bacteria play a role not only in a negative way, as, uh, as uh, uh, a spoilage of uh, wine by acidic uh, bacteria, but also in a positive way in the production of uh, volatile aroma, aroma active compounds and in malolactic fermentation. Uh, the, uh, the analysis of microflora in wine is uh, uh, an analytical challenge mostly with bacteria because the counts are much lower than the, for the yeasts and also uh, if using uh, culture independent techniques uh, based on DNA analysis it is quite difficult to uh, use them for bacteria because uh, the concentrations are much lower uh, so, uh, regarding a uh, culture-based approach, which is a um, classical uh, approach, we uh, were, uh, we uh, had to use various uh, culture media, which uh, produced uh, uh, different uh, uh, samples of the microflora, and then uh, these were grouped uh, by fluorescent ITS PCR and the selected colonies were then uh, identified uh, uh, using a classical approach uh, uh, by PCR uh, amplification of 16S RDNA and uh, comparison with a pl uh, by BLAST with a GEMBANG database. So uh, uh, this, this was the, uh, the, the uh, other approach, which uh, is known to be complementary, was based on DNA extraction. And because the uh, concentrations of bacterial DNA are much lower, 
we had to use a semi-nested approach by PCR, and then uh, in order to uh, achieve high precision of identification, we used uh, the cloning approach, and uh, in order to reduce the, the extent of uh, sequencing, we uh, used the grouping of clones and then uh, sequencing just the representative clones. Uh, so, uh, regarding results, uh, so uh, you see the overall co quantitative uh, results on bacteria uh, detected on uh, the four uh, culture media, and these uh, were uh, members of 16 genera on uh, the first uh, medium and uh, uh, much, uh, uh, much. Uh, uh, Clearer it is seen in these uh, pictures, where you see that the the uh, identified microflora uh, depended on the selectivity of the medium, and uh, this is also a message to all uh, researchers working in this field that uh, they can uh, vastly uh, influence their research by the selection of the medium. Uh, this is, uh, these are the results of various uh, genera on the, uh, of uh, Blaufränkisch wine in, uh, uh, in the course of production from grapes to uh, wine. You see that there is a reduction in the, in the diversity, of course. And this is the similar uh, presentation for Grüne Veltliner. Uh, the identification was done by uh, by comparison with GenBank, and uh, all our results have been uploaded to the database and can be found in our uh, publications, which is now in press. So this is uh, a list of uh, taxons that were identified. Uh, regarding uh, culture-independent analysis. Uh, 27 bacterial genera and one cyanobacterial genus w were identified in Blanfekisch, and 17 bacterial genera were identified in Grunewald Lina. So you can see that the, the diversity was higher in Blaufränkisch. Um, and you can see it also uh, in terms of classes on the lower diagram. Um, mm -mm -mm. And here is the list of uh, identified uh, taxons. Uh, there is uh, quite a little overlap, which is, uh, again, a message to all people working in the field that uh, it is always necessary to use both methods because at the current uh, state of uh, the art of the, the analytical techniques, uh, these two approaches produce uh, different and complementary results. So, uh, just uh, to give our results to the context, of course, we came uh, later to the playground when uh, data on uh, microflora and bacterial microflora in wine are available for the large uh, wine producing countries. But uh, there was also some uh, advantage that we could use the advances in the methodology. And uh, at uh, this stage, we did not use uh, next generation sequencing because our uh, experience uh, says that uh, at the current state of uh, the art, uh, we still get better and more precise results by our approach. And we have to wait a few years until the next generation sequencing uh, develops to the state where uh, with a with a less uh, labor, uh, less experiment, uh, experimental work, we shall uh, be able to obtain uh, the results of uh, similar quality. Uh, data uh, and isolates that we obtained uh, provide the basis for improvement of the quality of regional wines. And uh, uh, we hope that uh, they will help the wine producers in Slovakia um, in the near future, if uh, our data are used for starter development, that will lead to uh, improvement in uh, 
organoleptic leptic quality uh, of uh, various uh, wine types in Slovakia. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. Thank you. Interesting study. Uh, just one quick question. With the different kind of microbiota that are present in the, the wine, they are likely to come from the soil. And in the they are from different regions. Do you think such exchanges of this microbiota from one to the other will actually generate the same kind of wine? Of course, uh, this is quite dependent on individual strains, not only on uh, uh, species and uh, genera. Of course, there might be some uh, specific uh, genes that are typical for, uh, for certain bacteria, and they can be transferred somewhere uh, also in a ge geographical way. Uh, we are very happy that now uh, the, the availability of uh, whole genome sequencing, uh, this completely changes the situation and uh, the interesting strains can be characterized by this, and uh, the, we hope that this can lead to a development of some starters, which can be, of course, used also in an international way. Uh, it is not necessar necessary to, uh, g uh, to put them in terrain. It's enough if they are used in the production. Do you collaborate with the wine industry in Slovakia, and uh, is there is some application of your research? Dean? Uh, uh, we are concentrating on small producers, and uh, uh, also half of my staff in the lab lab uh, uh, <laughs> travels each morning from this city to our institute. So they their families have a small. Uh, small pr production factories for wine and uh, so this is a sort of uh, guarantee that if we uh, invent anything it will get directly to to, to use without any formal uh, restrictions uh, unfortunately uh, uh, wine industry in Slovakia is uh, not uh, not big uh, big power but uh, a good point is that uh, the uh, the survival of small uh, enterprises uh, still uh, produces profit. So th this is very good. Okay, more questions? On the back again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, what is color and task always wine? What is color and why? The color of color. yes, uh, th this was this this, uh, this was stated there. The uh, Blaufränkisch is a red wine. It was also written in, in red color, and the uh, and the uh, Grüner Veltliner is a white wine. Yes, but it's difference of contaminated, not contaminated color. Difference of contaminated bacteria, contaminated or oh, of, of course no. Oh, uh, yes, it is, it is sometimes even very difficult to uh, analyze by chemical methods. And uh, it is always, it is very difficult to, uh, to uh, find the source of the individual aromatic uh, compounds. So even if you have a mixed, uh, mixed bacterial consortium and mixed uh, yeast consortium, it is difficult to identify which of the components of the consortium is the, uh, the source of individual enzymes that cause the uh, formation of aromatic compounds. Okay, thanks again. And I think there are some wine drinkers here, so we are coming by for sensorial evaluation. <laughs> <laughs> so here I hand over your certificate, and thanks again.